All right, here we go. So this worksheet on density, uh, we use the symbol rho, the Greek letter rho, to represent density. It's equal to the mass divided by volume. Now, most of the time we use mass in kilograms and volume in cubic meters, but sometimes we also use grams per cubic centimeter. So these questions here, all I did was I just looked at uh, using this equation. I plugged the numbers in. And for this one over here, um, we've got 480 centimetres cubed. Now, the thing is, if we kind of think about what's going on with a centimetre, with a cubic metre, inside a cubic metre, each side is going to be 100 centimetres long. So that means we can say that one cubic metre is the same as 100 times 100 times 100, which equals 1 million cubic centimetres. Okay, so effectively what we can say is that um, one me cubic metre is a, is a million cubic centimetres, or one cubic centimetre is a millionth of a cubic metre, which is therefore 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic metres. So that's why this number over here, 480 centimetres cubed, I've multiplied it by 10 to the minus 6 to convert it into cubic metres. Um, the rest of it, uh, fairly straightforward. We've got these questions down here where I've just um, used this, either this, this or this equation, rearranged it, put in the numbers, and I gave all of my answers to two significant figures. Um, we then had some other questions. Um, again, these are sort of fairly straightforward. Not forgetting, of course, just how to calculate simple volumes. And if we know the volume and the density, and often water is used because it's a thousand kilograms per cubic meter, that's a useful fact to remember. So we just worked out the mass of water in the swimming pool. And then equally, for this one here, when we looked at the mass of the brick, I made sure that I converted from centimeters into meters when it came to working out my volume, which I gave to two significant figures. Now, the average density of a box of cornflakes is actually uh, based on the information on the packet. It's 90 kilograms per cubic meter. So imagine you had a cubic meter filled up with a load of cornflakes. Then because there's a lot of air gaps between these, their average volume or the average mass of a cubic meter would be about 90 kilograms. OK, that's a lot of cornflakes. And finally, this one over here, um, palladium. Now, you don't need to know anything about palladium apart from the data given to you in the question. Now, for this one over here, we've actually been given the values in grams per cubic centimetres, and I left this one in grams and this in grams per cubic centimetre to get my total volume in cubic centimetres that 3.6 kilograms would take up. Now, then we've got some more information. This is very much a kind of GCSE math style question. If we know that one gram sells for 51 pounds, how much... If you had a cube of it which cost £800,000, what would be the dimension of that cube? So the first thing I did was I divided the total price by the cost per gram to get the total amount of grams. And then we can work out the volume because if we know the mass in grams and we know the density in grams per cubic centimetre, we can work out the volume in cubic centimetres. And then because it's a cube, we know that uh, the volume is going to be equal to the length of one of the sides cubed. So I took the cube root of this volume and I left everything in centimetres to get the sides equal to 11 centimetres. Now that is small. That is a cube that's kind of like this big and that would be worth £800,000 because palladium is quite a rare mineral. So those were some questions about density.